Hey guys, Likey here, back with another video, and I'm going to be doing a new series on my channel, which is going to be free-to-play decks. Basically what it is, is I'm going to be showing you guys some of the best decks to level up and play, uh, that have a lot of commons that you can use to get very high if you actually do manage to max it out. So, um, this episode is going to be on Mortar Cycle. So, I actually have a pro here, um, Crafter, who's consistently above 5,500 with Mortar Cycle. He actually got two battles away from 5,800, with which a deck like Mortar is just crazy. So, um, I'm going to be featuring this version with Bats, which he um, does use, but he also uses a version with Skeletons there. So, if you don't have your Bats leveled up, you can definitely sub for Skeletons. Um... So to begin this video, I'm just going to do a quick live match here with Mortar, and I'm going to be going for 50, um, not 50, 4,600, um, and then we can get into the real pro gameplay. So um, I'm going to be showing you guys some of his gameplay beating hard matchups and things like that. So um, it looks like our opponent has Log, which, uh, log Bait, which is actually really easy for Mortar, because I have the Log and the Tornado. So I'm just going to play some order and see what he does about it. So I actually, my, um, my mortar shot didn't actually kill the rascals, which is a bit weird. I don't know. I feel like it should, but, um, I'm just going to send in some bats to take out his princess and he is horribly over leveled for this, for this area of ladder. He should honestly be where I am with my semi max right now, to be honest. So, um, he, he even does have a max barrel, so there's no reason for him to be down here. I really have no idea, but, um, we do still have a hard counter, so it shouldn't be a problem. So, um, I'm just gonna take out his princess with some archers, and his log kills my archers. That means that he has a max log, which, which is just crazy. I don't really know what to say about that, but... Um, I'm still going to be displaying the Mortar gameplay, and this is still going to be an easy enough match. And his King Tower is level 13, so it actually takes out my Ice Spirit. Um, I should probably max my Ice Spirit. But I'm going to set up with another Mortar here, and let's see what he does. Um, so the Mortar should... The Mortar and the Log together kill the Rascals, but now I have to watch out for his Goblin Barrel. Interesting, he chooses to send a goblin barrel at my mortar, which is a pretty bad play if you ask me. And now I got a mortar locked, so we honestly should have no problems now. So I'm just going to send a knight to maybe get the mortar one more hit, but it's not because of the new mortar nerf, but that's still fine. Just going to set up with another mortar here. Uh, there's not much he can do about a mortar. So he's just going to outright rock at the mortar, which is a minus two trade, and I still got a shot off, so... I'm going to cycle to another mortar, actually. And, um, yeah, now he can't rock at all this stuff, so I don't have to worry about putting too much stuff here. Uh, I'm going to log here, and unfortunately we didn't get to take out his rascals, but... Uh, I'm going to actually tornado his barrel to the king tower, and, um, my mortar's still getting shot, so it looks like we're going to win this match. So let me just send in a log here. Um, and I'm going to send in a knight here, and I can't believe he has a level 5 log, and he's down here, like, that's actually crazy. Let's just tornado the barrel away here, and, uh, let's set up another mortar, hopefully he just rockets it so that I get, um, plus 2 trade, I don't know why he's doing that, I don't know why he's just rocketing it, but I, I have such good defense against, um, against bait that I can probably get it down to like two rocket range and then just throw two rockets and be done. So I'm actually going to tornado this here to uh, get the princess maybe to die to my archers if I'm lucky. It's actually not, but I'm just going to keep setting up here. And his max goblin gang is actually taking uh, three shots from my tower, which is pretty annoying, but not much I can do about it. So he's going to send in another barrel. I'm just going to log that. And, uh, hopefully we can get some chip on his tower. Actually, the fact that, uh, overtime is three minutes, uh, three minutes now on ladder is really good for mortar because it, I don't have to rush anything. I have, like, more time to get the win. So, yeah, I think I might just have to rocket, rocket him out here. So let's, let's log his barrel. 
And let's do, let's just set up a defensive mortar and rocket him out from here. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. So I'm going to get my first rocket down here. And mortar should take out his princess, so that's fine. And he's going to start rocketing too. I think he has a max rocket if he has all these other max cards. So he might be doing more damage than me, but that's fine. So I'm going to log this out. And he sent a tricky barrel, meaning my just my ice spirit can cover it. And um, it looks like we're going to be good if I just get another rocket down. And I think it's two logs now. I probably should have done the two logs before the rocket, but it should be fine since there's not much bait can do. So here we go. Let's get a log down. And I might as well just finish it with a rocket, to be honest. But I, I don't really want to risk six elixir, so I'm just going to cycle to another log here. And here we go. So we're just going to finish the game there. And I just found out that my log doesn't even kill out his prin kill his princess, but uh, not much I can do about that. That's going to finish the game. I did have a hard counter, but uh, now I'm at 4,600. First time this season, I haven't really pushed too hard. But uh, now I'm going to show you guys some of the pro gameplay from Crafter here. So this one's actually against uh, some of... So I'm going to be showing you the gameplay against some of the hardest matchups. So this one's against Giant Double Prince. And um, with Mortar, Giant, and Golem, they're some of the harder matchups because they can really tank for your Mortar and they can really overrun it if you're not careful. So um, Crafter sets up with a Mortar. He's going to be on the top here. He's actually using the Skeletons version for this battle. So, um, he's gonna send in a knight, and he's just gonna defend. So basically, mortar is about defense, um, and it's just about defending and then putting a mortar. And sometimes you can use a defensive mortar and then cycle all the way back to another one. So he's just gonna split archers in the back, playing passive. Uh, you generally want to play passive most of the time, trying to defend and counter push. So, um, he just logs the dark prince to remove the shield and cycle a bit, and, um... This is the optimal mortar placement that Crafter is using right now. It's the 4-3 placement, and it pulls the giant the furthest. So it's really important to get these optimal placements, because it can really make the difference sometimes, that extra tile that the giant has to travel. So these archers are actually going to clean everything up, and it should be fine. So... As you can see, Mortar has some of the most powerful defense in the game. And he knows his opponent's really low on Elixir, so he just sets up a Mortar opposite lane. And his opponent doesn't really have much to counter that right now. His opponent actually drops a Prince at the bridge, which can be blocked pretty easily by Skeletons. And uh, also a Knight. So this Mortar is actually getting tons of damage on the tower. Um, just because uh, it was dropped when the opponent like didn't have any Elixir. So... Um, Crafter is actually really good at like tracking the elixir of the opponent and um, playing a mortar at the right time. So he knows when to defensive mortar and when to offensive mortar. So um, unfortunately the tornado was failed because that was the optimal uh, minor placement. But Crafter is going to win this game. So he just places another mortar. And the good thing with Mortar uh, versus Expo is the Mortar Pocket. So when the Giant gets too close, the Mortar can actually just shoot straight to the tower. And if you can like use an Ice Spirit and a Log to kind of hold the Giant in that position where it's um, right in the Mortar Pocket, you can actually get a lot of chip damage. So Crafter's just kind of focusing on defending here and cycling to Mortars when he has Knights and Archers down. Um, so he, he, uh, uses a knight and ice spirit to completely counter the miner, and his mortar is locked onto the towers, and he's getting a lot of damage right now. So he's definitely defending very well, and that was a, and that tornado kind of helped, but I think it was a misclick. So, as you can see, he just keeps defending with knight and archers, and getting down, um, getting down another mortar. So he's really relentless, and with mortar, uh, towards the late game, once you start really defending, you can start getting, um, aggressive. So he actually, this is an interesting play. He pulls the giant into his mortar so that his opponent doesn't have time to place the dark prince. So sometimes you can actually pull the giant closer to the mortar so that it's in the pocket and you can actually get a mortar lock. So that was really a pro play by Crafter. Um, and then this one's a golem matchup. So a uh, golem lightning in fact which is really hard for mortar. So um, I'm really impressed that Crafter is able to play mortar mortar cycle uh, so effectively at max ladder so um he's actually able to beat a golem here so we're about to see how so um 
his opponent is kind of sitting at 10 elixir, uh, then he drops a pump, and immediately uh, in single elixir when your opponent drops a pump, just rocket it out, because uh, they need that elixir advantage uh, as the golem deck if they're ever going to uh, get a big enough push to break through your mortar. So um, I think this matchup specifically is some really good gameplay. So um, Crafter starts a knight in the back, just kind of waiting and seeing what his opponent's going to play. Um, and I think by now he can probably tell that it's a golem deck. So the thing with golem is, um, normally they play it like behind the tower. So, um, if you can get them to play, um, if, if they play their golem behind the tower and you get a mortar lock on, you can actually get a ton of damage and then defend it out from there. So here, um, here Crafter is just really using the optimal uh, mortar placement and um, really doing a good job at mitigating most of the damage from this golem push. And then he tornadoes it all together to get rid of the bats. So that, that was really good. And that tower still locked on it, takes out the baby dragon, and he really takes minimal damage. So this deck can be really powerful at uh, defending against things like a golem. So his opponent pumps up again, and Crafter actually rockets it again. So his opponent's probably feeling pretty frustrated right now, because he's not able to get, like, an elixir advantage or anything. Um, so he can't really pump up well. So, um, Crafter's just going to be doing a really good job of defending here, and I really want to showcase this defense that he's using. So his opponent plays Mega Minion in the back, um... Crafter's just kind of waiting till he has 10 elixir here, and he plays uh, archers in the back, just kind of passive, um, opening him up to attack on the other side if he has to. And once again, his opponent golems in the front. So uh, this is, again, a really good defense using the optimal mortar placement, cycling knights and archers. And uh, his opponent lightnings it, taking out the mortar, but uh, Crafter just keeps cycling, uh, gets another knight down, tornadoes everything, and... Um, basically takes takes that mortar push out like it was nothing and then sets up another mortar so the thing is if you defend the golem and then set up another mortar they have nowhere near the cycle that you have so it's very unlikely that they're going to be back to another golem to block your mortar so um the opponent in desperation is just kind of throwing down a golem here to try to uh take out the mortar but crafter tornadoes it back and sets up another mortar in the middle there which is actually um it's actually, that mortar in the middle is pretty good when you already have a mortar down and you just don't want to wait. So that, that middle mortar also locks on and gets a ton of damage. And overall, it's just looking really good right now. So his opponent actually opts to drop a Night Witch in the back. Personally, I would have rocketed that, but it looks like Crafter doesn't. So I think Crafter really would just wants to focus more on defense, which is probably the smarter play. So... The Mortar, once again, in the optimal placement, and the opponent Lightnings, and Lightning can be really hard for Mortar, because if they can take out your Mortar indefinitely, then, um, then it's really, really hard for you, but it looks like Crafter actually had a really good Tornado Rocket, so that Tornado Rocket combination, um, can really take out anything, especially when you're in a tough spot, like they lightning your Mortar or something. So Crafter plays another Mortar, knowing that his opponent doesn't have enough Elixir for a Golem, so, um... Uh, the opponent outright lightnings it, but it looks like the mortar is going to get a hit. So, uh, Crafter's really playing this very well. He's able to, um, he's able to defend the mortar really well, and it looks like he's just cycling logs and rockets and just trying to get as much damage as possible so that he can get it into that rocket range. So, uh, once again, uh, defends the, defends the mortar really well with archers, and the mortar gets that one critical hit he needs, and then it's just a rocket, and the game's over. So, that was, again, a really good match. So, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the pro gameplay, uh, Crafter playing mortar really high. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my, uh, live match, and definitely try this deck out for yourself. I would recommend Bats. Crafter uses both the Bats version and the Skeletons version. So if your Bats aren't high level, definitely use the Skeletons. My Knight is almost maxed, which is pretty good. Maybe I could, um, maybe I could feature some more decks that have the Knight later. But, um, this has been the first episode of the Free-to-Play deck series, uh, featuring Mortar Cycle. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if and I think this uh, kind of video will appeal to a much larger audience since not everybody is competitive and not everybody can play Grand Challenges. So hopefully you guys have success with this deck on Ladder on your own and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks.